script supervisor is almost like a second director of the movie. They're in charge of something called continuity, and what continuity means is that we do different shots in filmmaking, and somebody has to be there to make sure that screen direction is on, that the, if the actor is holding a prop, that they are still holding the prop in the same way, and that person is the script supervisor. They will also feed lines to the talent if the talent forgets their lines. The director of photography's job is to create a look for the film and bring the director's vision into the medium of film. The camera operator operates the camera. The director of photography can also be the camera operator. The first assistant camera or the first AC's main jobs are to maintain the camera, build the camera, thread the camera with film, and pull focus. The second assistant camera, also known as clapper loader, is responsible for loading film into the magazine, helping out the first AC, and slating and doing camera reports. On set, you will always have a sound team. And that sound team is made up of a sound mixer and also a boom operator. It is the job of the sound mixer to get the best sound they possibly can. And it is the job of the boom operator to help the sound mixer in this. The production designer basically is the person who develops the set or the look in terms of construction. The art director is overseen by the production designer. The art director works closely with carpenters and set decorators in order to achieve the set that the director is looking for. As part of the art team and under the art director, you have the set dresser and the props master. The set dresser comes on set every day and is on set and puts things in their place, puts furniture in its place, puts books in its place, puts certain things in its place so that the film crew can shoot it. The props master is a little different. The props master deals with props, and props are anything that the actor is holding. So the props master has to bring all the props to set and make sure the actor is holding the right thing. The set dresser and the props master are both responsible for continuity. So if a person is smoking a cigarette and it's halfway down, it can't be a full cigarette in the next shot. It has to be the same length. So they're responsible for that. The gaffer reports to the director of photography and they are in charge of the whole lighting department. The gaffer and the gaffer's team are the ones who physically set up the lights. The best boy electric reports to the gaffer. They oversee all lighting equipment and also oversee the lighting crew. In the grip department you have the key grip. They are responsible for all the grips under them. The dolly grip is specifically for dolly only. That is their main job, is to maintain the dolly, to set up the dolly, to push the dolly on the track. You may have a makeup artist or a special effects makeup. Special effects and visual effects are different. Special effects makeup means the person actually has makeup on them, the actor. They are not computer generated. Visual effects means that it's computer generated. So that's basically taking us from pre-production through production. When we start post-production, we get into some more crew members that are vital. So that's it in a nutshell. Of course, for your film, there might be other positions that I didn't mention, but just for now, that's an overview to get you started.